YouTubers, hello, it's Melissa, the M of the M Nation Bespoke Hairstyles. How are you? Are you good? Are you well? This posting is for sisters or even brothers who are or know someone who has chosen to rock their hair the natural way. Who want to enjoy their afro, their natural curl type and has an issue with frizz. If you're somebody who is concerned about frizz or has an issue with frizz, then this posting is for you. Keep watching. Hello YouTubers, it's Melissa, the M of the M of Bespoke Hairstyles. Are you well? Are you good? I'm very well, thank you. Um, it's been a long day and I had a moment of clarity and I wanted to share it with you. Um, for um, a year now, we touch African hair, Afro hair, kinky hair, curly hair, coily hair, and we love it. And every time we touch your hair, we touch your hair with total respect for your strands and your follicle and what goes on in your hair. And we tell you, our work is based on using our hands, no chemicals. We work with purely natural oils and we will work with water. So when we twist your hair, we twist your hair into a flat twist design with water and natural oils. Because when your hair is shrunken, it's fabulous. It just glistens and shines and it stretches out as it should do into a flat twist design. Now, what we've dis discovered is that when we twist our client's hair, um, some people's twists um, last longer than others and others slip out a little bit earlier, but it just depends on your strand type. And we've also discovered a lot of um, conversations have come up with regards to frizz. And to tell you the truth, I mean, Iget is French, right? So she's been thinking, freeze? What is freeze? Um, and Melissa's been thinking the same thing. And she's probably thought, Melissa knows what frizz is. But I didn't understand what frizz was until today. Hence, I'm doing this posting. So when a client says to me, oh, my hair's frizzing, I usually think to myself, what, what, what could I have done differently? Because I stay present with everyone's hairstyle. And when I twist. And today I had a client who kind of explained to me what frizz is. And I was like, huh? So frizz is what your hair does naturally. But you have natural hair, African hair, Afro hair. Some of us have like extremely frizzy type hair. And what frizz means is your hair has like a fur-like um, tendency to come out in a f in like a slightly furry over your hairstyle. And it might be because your hair has, you have some growth and the growth might be a bit short. So when you, when it's twisted into a hairstyle, it tries to wriggle out. And as you sleep and move around, it wriggles out. So naturals who come to get their hair bespoke off, up, be spoke up. Please remember that I cannot control and it gets cannot control what your hair does, how your hair reacts to being twisted. If your hair ends up frizzing, I do, what I don't understand is if your hair ends up frizzing, what it should do naturally, the, your African's hair natural state. I don't understand why it should be an issue because your hair isn't like anybody else's hair. So one of the dangers is people watch people's blogs and people's YouTubes and everything that's out there and they bring hairstyles that they feel their hair should look like and your hair won't. Because your hair is different. You come with your own strand type, your own cuticle type, your hair story, your health issues. Some people come with a full head of hair. Some people come with less full hair. Some people come with severe traction alopecia. Iget and I can only do what we can do with our hands and we can advise you. But for, like people need to understand, like follicles first, styling second. We practice that, like we really practice that. We really believe in it because I have seen the benefits of putting your follicles first. So what I'm trying to say is love the hair you've got. Uh, what I'm finding is there are naturals who totally get it. My hair freezes, my hair dulls up, it's put up, spritz it with a little bit of oil and I'm good to go. 
And there are other people who are obsessing about getting their hair into a slicker, more neater, like your what you th- would dis- what you would describe as neat, and you can't because that is your hair. And ultimately, what we're trying to do is work with our hair. So that's where you'd have people with sister locks. Some of them have no fluff or fur around their hair, and other people's have a little. Other people's have a lot because it is your hair. So when you decide you're going natural. That's what that means. It means don't look at somebody else's hair and decide you want their hair type. Understand your hair and embrace the level of frizzing that happens with your hair because you can't get away from it. It is not about the shiny and the glossy and the, you know, it is about, for you, it is about just enjoying your hair the way it is. It doesn't have to be glossy and shiny and stretched out. It can be kinky and tight and curly. That's fine. And I just had this thought when I was speaking to the client and I totally agreed with her when we were talking about this. That one, two, whatever, two, four, three, C, two, da, 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 da. I understand why it's been created and people think oh it's going to help them but it will not help you because if you look at somebody who has a 4 I think I've talked about this already but if you talk if you look at somebody who's got 4C hair type you can have hundreds of people with 4C and each person's hair type is still different and was this labeling created for our hair and if it's created for our hair why don't why doesn't the grid start with our curl type first why does it go from straight to slightly straight to right at the back of the queue, a tightly curled hair type. Why don't they switch it and say, right, a 2A is curly hair and 4C is straight hair. Why is our curl at the back of our... And I just feel like we still, we say we're natural, but we're not loving our naturalness. But that's what Bespoke Hairstyles is about. Is about working with your hair and celebrating your hair type. And, and I not, might not necessarily right now be able to achieve that fullness that you're looking for. We'll do our best. But when we lock your hair, when we add extensions to your hair, when we style your hair, we style your hair because we want your follicles to be looked after first and then your styling second. And that never stops. And that never changes. So, if you're having issues with your hair and its level of frizz, deal with it. Because that's your hair. That's what your hair is going to be doing. And there's no other way to say it. Just embrace your hair. And if there's a bit of fur on your hair, it doesn't matter. It's only hair. And I think we obsess a little bit too much about our hair. We should just let it be styled and then just leave it alone. How else are we going to teach our children? how to love their hair if you can't love the level of frizz you have in your hair how are you going to teach your child when your child has frizz in their hair what are you going to say to them keep over styling keep over pulling keep blow drying keep hide your frizz there's nothing wrong part of having african hair is frizz and that's it so that's what i wanted to share with you a moment of clarity when i discovered what frizz was I know I've been working with African hair for this long, but I've never named it. I've just seen that it's just hair that has a curl and loosens itself and it's, um, it's kind of creates a fur-like finish to your hair. But I always say to clients, just work with your hair and just enjoy what you've got. And if we start doing that, that's when we start teaching our children how to truly love their hair. And that's the message. Love the hair you have. Love the hair you've been blessed with. Frizz is good. Frizz is natural. And frizz should be celebrated, just like shrinkage should be celebrated. Let's be thankful our hair. Don't look at my hair as I say this. Our natural, loosely curled hair grows out. It doesn't grow down unless you lock it. Thank you for watching this posting. And share this with all your friends who are talking about getting rid of their frizz. Tell them, accept your hair. It is fine, it is beautiful, it's perfect just the way it is. And frizz is good because it's yours, it's part of you, it's part of your heritage. And you should just celebrate it and get over, get over it. Enjoy the style to suit your hair and move on. I just wanted to add 
that freeze also includes um, what happens to the end of the ends of your strands. So um, quite a lot of people like if your hair is being twisted or plaited, and um, you know first day it's coming out slick, um, what you would call more defined um, ringletty curls, and then the next day it is frizzy and it um, loosens up. The curls begin to become open and loose and tend to tangle. Um, most times it's because there's chemical residue at the end of your hair. Um, a lot of the time, some of us have like permins to the end of our hair. But also it could be that that's your hair type. Um, and this is what being natural is about. It's about understanding your hair type. If you have frizz at the end of your hair, your strands, and you are 100% fully natural, that's okay. Just still spritz your hair, all your hair as usual, and just rock your fritz, uh, your frizz. Just rock your hair the way it should be in its natural state. And um, I was just doing a search for the definition of frizz. And I felt um, when I was searching that there was no clear definition of frizz. And um, what tended to come out was more solutions to getting rid of frizz. And most of the results from my search is focused on straight Caucasian hair, and there's a few um, focusing on African hair solutions. So I feel like we have decided to take somebody's negative terminology um, about their hair, their straight hair, and they've put it on our hair. When our, we've not even, they've not put it, we have put it onto our hair. So where our hair is naturally curly and frizzes, we have decided it's a negative thing and we need to buy products to, to get our hair non-frizz. You will spend a lot of money. Once you wash out those products, your hair will stay frizzy. So again, I repeat, accept the frizz you're blessed with because it means you're living and it means you're healthy and it means you're living the natural way and you're accepting of your hair and you're loving your frizz. Love the frizz. Thanks for watching this posting and take care of you. Bye. Ah, well, Mono Safel SK, original, Africa Ringer.